Octopath Traveler 2 is a brand new entry in the RPG series, filled with a whole new cast of characters, a new continent to explore, and stories to discover. Whether you've played the first game or you're embarking on this adventure for the first time, here are 8 things to know about Octopath Traveler 2. Despite its name, Octopath Traveler 2 is a standalone entry in the series, meaning you don't need to have played the first game or the prequel, Champions of the Continent, to have the full experience. Octopath Traveler 2 takes place on the continent of Celestia, a modern setting with a wide variety of locales, including pioneer towns, bustling cities, frigid mountains, and rainforest jungles. With a new world to explore and new characters to befriend, Octopath Traveler 2 is the ideal starting point for fans of classic JRPGs or for new players looking to go on a sprawling adventure. Plus, this entry marks the first time the series is playable on PlayStation consoles. Befitting of its name, there are eight new characters in Octopath Traveler 2, each with their own unique personality, story, and central quest. Hikari is a warrior who must assemble a team of allies to retake the throne that is rightfully his. The merchant Particio leaves the town he and his father helped build with the lofty goal of ridding the world of poverty. Agnea is a dancer who dreams of becoming a star just like her mother. Casti is an apothecary, suffering from amnesia after being stranded at sea, who wants to reclaim her lost memories. The hunter Ochet leaves her island to find three creatures of legend, who can stop a calamity known as the Knight of the Scarlet Moon. Throno the Thief fights for her freedom and must confront the leaders of the Thieves' Guild known as Mother and Father. Temenos the Cleric is determined to solve the mystery surrounding a pontiff's murder, and lastly, the scholar Oswald, wrongly convicted of murdering his wife and child, escapes from an isolated prison to hunt down the man responsible for the crime. Take a detour from each traveller's main tale by helping townspeople with side quests or by exploring cross-path stories, new quest lines that feature two travellers' converging journeys as they work together towards a collective goal. The original game's hybrid of pixel art and 3D environments introduced a signature HD 2D art style. In the sequel, those graphics have been improved to include more detailed environments, improved particle effects, a more dynamic camera, and an increased number of character animations. The strategic, turn-based battle system from the original Octopath Traveler game returns. But if you need a refresher, here's how it works. When you first encounter an enemy, their weaknesses will be unknown to you. Attack them with various weapons to discover their vulnerabilities and deplete their shield points to break them. Once broken, they are more susceptible to attacks and won't be able to act for the next turn. Make the most of this by using boost points you've accumulated to increase the potency of your attacks and skills. Depending on their class, each character has access to certain weapons, such as swords, bows, daggers, and axes. But while each character starts as a member of a specific class, as you progress, you can add secondary jobs to further expand their battle expertise. A new element introduced in Octopath Traveler 2's combat system is latent powers. Fill each character's latent power gauge by taking damage and breaking enemies to get access to unique abilities that can turn the tide of battle. Ikari's Shadow Hold lets you pick from three powerful attacks. Particio's Hoot and Holler fully replenishes BP. Agnea's All Together Now converts single target skills so they hit all foes. Casti's Every Drop Counts lets her craft concoctions without any materials. Ochet's Animal Instincts grants access to new attack and support skills. Throne's Leave No Trace lets her act twice in one turn. Temenos's Judgment means subsequent attacks will lower an enemy's shield points regardless of their weakness. And Oswald's Concentrate Spells modifies wide-reaching spells, focusing them on a single target. Different times of day will affect certain quests and change the enemy types you encounter, but most importantly, it'll alter each character's path action. For example, during the day, Oswald can scrutinize townspeople to gain new information but at night, his path action lets him mug people of their belongings. Similarly, Hikari can challenge people to a duel to learn new skills during the day, while at night, he can bribe them to gain information. With a total of 16 path actions across the eight characters, switching time periods opens you up to new ways of interacting with the world and augmenting battles. Just like path actions, each character has a unique talent linked to their primary class, which helps them in battle. Adding Throne to your party at night grants allies positive effects at the start of battle, thanks to her Blessing of Darkness talent. 
Terminos' talent Moonlight Judgment also activates at night and inflicts foes with negative status effects. Ochet's Capture and Prepare talent leverages her hunting skills to convert captured beasts into useful items. When assembling your party, think about including complementary talents to get the upper hand in combat. With so many stories to explore, Octopath Traveler 2 encourages you to forge your own individual journey through Celestia. Particio can follow his main path or pursue one of the Scent of Commerce quests. Ochet must pick between two rare animals to have as a companion, and Throne can confront either mother or father first. The choice is down to you. Embark on a new adventure when Octopath Traveler 2 launches on February 24th on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, and PC. If you can't wait, you can experience the opening hours with the free demo and transfer your save files to the full game to continue your journey. For more on Octopath Traveler, stick with IGN.